Alright, hello everybody and welcome to the Smackdown Live Review for October 25th, 2016. Now unfortunately, I only got to see the first hour of the show. I got to see the beginning, I well I only missed two and a half matches, essentially. Um, but the two matches I kind of wanted to see. Uh, the show opened up with a match between Kane and Bray Wyatt in a no disqualification match. Uh, Kane tried to put Bray Wyatt through the announce table. Lights go out. Luke Harper pops up on top of the uh, announce table. I wonder, kind of wonder where he was at. Like, was he under the announce table or under the ring? He kicks Kane in the face. Randy Orton comes out during the middle of the match. He stares down Luke. There was a point where Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper are both down on the ground. Kane's ready for a choke, scan choke slam. Randy's ready for an RKO. I kind of knew something was going to happen because of the way they focused in on Kane and Randy Orton. But I thought Kane was going to choke slam Randy Orton. But instead, RKO to Kane. Uh, Bray. Well, Randy leaves and then Bray takes advantage of that. Pins Kane. One, two, three. Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, comes out. As soon as she gets in the ring, Alexa Bliss comes out and says that Becky has been faking everything and was never actually injured or in the hospital. She was just scared. Alexa uh, attacks Becky. Becky takes over from there, but then Alexa takes over and they brawl. DDT to Becky and Alexa sprays her spine, uh, Becky's spine, with yellow spray paint. Uh, can, saying that she's spineless. The Ascension versus the Hype Bros. Hype Rider for the win. Hype Bros joined the Survivor Series team. I guess that's... It was a qualifi qualifying match. Uh, Hater, uh, Sl Slater and Rhino are already on the match. On the team. Because they're champions. So it's Heath Slater and Rhino and the Hype Bros so far. Uh, Nikki Bella and Natalia had a match to see who would be the captain of the women's, cha uh, women's Survivor Series match for SmackDown. But... Because there are so many women on the uh, uh, on the SmackDown roster, the loser would not be in the match at all. Nikki makes Natalia tap. Nikki is the captain. Natalia is out of the match. That match is the one I uh, missed uh, half of. He's Slater and Rhino versus the Spirit Squad. For the tag team titles. I kind of wanted to see this. Uh, gore for the win. Apparently. And then the main event. I wanted to see this one as well. AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose. If Dean wins he gets a future. Well he becomes uh, the number one contender. For the WWE World Championship. Unfortunately. AJ won. But it was by DQ. When. The greatest wrestler on the roster, James Ellsworth. Actually, he's not even on the roster. I don't think. But James Ellsworth hit no chin music on AJ Styles. And Dean Ambrose lost because of that. I really wanted to see that. But I had to uh, go help one of my friends. Anyway, this was a rather quick one. Uh... I mean, it it wasn't, from what I saw, it was a decent show considering what they were competing with. They were competing with Game 1 of the World Series and the season opener for the NBA. Both of those were in Cleveland, by the way, within 80 feet of each other. Really glad I wasn't in Cleveland yesterday, even though I get to spend like $20 on parking for school tomorrow. Oh boy. But, anyway, that... Is going to be today's rather quick SmackDown Live review. I have homework due in uh, 20 minutes from recording this. And I probably should do that. Anyway, that's going to be for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Camp Council Cody, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles. <laughs>